Picture the future. By 2030, the planet will be home to 8 billion people. 8 billion people all requiring water, energy and food. And yet our consumption of natural resources has already reached critical limits. By 2030, we will need 40% more water than we have at present. By 2050, we will have to produce 70% more food than we do today. But food production uses both water and energy. Every kilo of beef, for example, requires 15,000 liters of water and 10 kilos of animal feed. 8 billion people will also increase greenhouse gas emissions, accelerating climate change in the process. To put it another way, if we carry on using our resources like this, we will need three planet Earths by the year 2050. Achieving the green economy transformation is a task for the whole of global society. We cannot negotiate with nature. Fundamental change is essential. We simply have to adopt a more sustainable approach to our planet, not only in the ecological sense, but also socially and economically. That is the objective of Bonn Perspectives. Bonn as a laboratory for generating ideas that will initiate this change and its vision, the green economy. Cities play an important role in this vision. Today, one person in two lives in an urban environment. By 2050, this figure will have risen to almost three quarters of the global population. But cities consume around 70% of global energy resources and are responsible for almost 85% of global greenhouse gas emissions. These problems are exacerbated by increasing urbanization and migration from the land, particularly in developing and emerging economies. Given that agriculture accounts for 80% of jobs among populations in developing countries, it is clear that cities are dependent on the rural areas that surround them. The faster cities grow at the expense of the surrounding countryside, the bigger the threat to groundwater resources and the greater the impact on fertile land. If we are to solve urban problems, we must pay equal attention to development in rural areas. Whether we are talking about connections between urban and rural environments or the provision of water, energy and food, the issues are interlinked. They cannot be considered in isolation. That is why we need solutions that focus on the interfaces bringing together what belongs together. Bond Perspectives calls this the Nexus approach, connecting, correlating, interlinking. The aim is to create links between issues, people and perspectives. The German city of Bonn is the perfect base for this project. As Germany's United Nations city, the seat of six German federal ministries, 150 non-governmental organizations and a center of commerce and science. Bonn is the hub where new ideas are developed and carried out into the world. Bonn is a think tank for resolving conflicts of interest and objectives, a laboratory for the development of innovative ideas and also a showcase for presenting sustainable initiatives. Bonn and sustainability, the two are inseparable. Bonn has in the past been at the heart of many initiatives. The Bonn Conference on Freshwater paved the way for the human right to water. The Bonn Renewable Energy Conference put changes in energy provision on the international agenda. The UN Conference on Biodiversity gave new momentum to the preservation and management of ecosystems. And with the 2011 Nexus Conference on the Interdependence of Water, Energy and Food Security, we took another step closer to the goal of sustainable development. Today we have a better understanding of how issues are interlinked and interdependent. And it's clear for all to see. Ideas initiated in Bonn are finding support around the world. The challenge facing Bonn Perspectives is to continue on this course and to carry on working collectively to build even more bridges and networks. Bonn Perspectives is about reinvigorating the debate on sustainability through innovative dialogue platforms and fresh ideas. To this end, Bonn Perspectives initiates dialogue between progressive thinkers and innovators in the pursuit of the vision of a green economy. Because ultimately, the question is not whether we should change the world, but how and until when. <laughs>